We're live. All right. Welcome, everyone. I'm the Hero, and this is playing in English. Yes. <laughs> Yo, dog. I heard you like furry defect detective games. <laughs> furry defective games. I guess that's a way to fucking put it in it. Yeah, I know. I heard you like furry detective games, so I got a second one. <laughs> the character Facebook is only the two or not affiliated with Facebook in any way. Which, from what I can tell, this game is French. Because the the uh, logo and whatever on Steam calls it Margaret A. Facebook. Or Mar Mar Gray. I, I added another A. Never mind that. Let's go. With, let's look at the settings. We'll see about this one. I just eat. Yeah. For you. You can save game here. You can exit the game from there. Cool. Please note, as the Kickstarter can be able to dub the game's characters into English and German did not reach its quantified target, the game is only available with its characters dubbed by French voice actors. However, you can adjust the dialogue volume or even mute it at any time during the game by clicking on the game settings icon in the top right hand corner. Would you like to start the game with French voices? Yes. I guess so. The game is French. <laughs> Late morning. Never mind. I can't fucking read it because it goes away during the timeless era. It's happening, my dear Maurice. I'm currently in the city center where we discovered this strange smell, which is unknown, noxious, and toxic. It's invading all the streets, causing people to feel unwell. Painting, riots, quarrels, and incidents are also occurring. Michael Mouse! <laughs> Our reporter was Daniel Ducom for BF News. And that's not fair use, that's because you put a fucking seaport wheel there. That's still. Say, uh. fella, someone talked about the. <laughs> door to darkness? What is the rhinoceros wearing? Bonjour, Madame Musquin. Vous ne passerez pas. Pardon. Je plaisante, Inspecteur Bagret. Je répète une réplique d'une pièce de théâtre dans laquelle je vais jouer ce week-end. Oh, mais c'est génial, ça. Vous savez s'il y a un nouveau kebab qui a ouvert en ville? Pourquoi me demandez-vous ça I'm waiting for my cue. Bizarre aujourd'hui. <laughs> Mis à part que ça semble être la fin du monde dehors. Non, je n'ai rien marqué d'autre d'étrange. Vous ne sentez pas cette odeur qui a envahi la ville depuis ce matin Non, mais je dois être légèrement enrhumé aujourd'hui. Ok, that explains that. Yes, yesterday. Never mind. Avant que vous rentriez dans votre bureau, j'ai un message à vous transmettre. There we go. Okay. So first things first. Settings. Uh, no. I like this. <laughs> this looks nice. Uh, voice volume dialogue. I'll guess I'll lower it a bit so I can read over it without it. Being too, uh, what you call it, annoying, I guess. Can I interact with these? No, that's just for show. Okay, Agent Gasper, Madame Moscon. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know French. If it wasn't obvious, and here's me. Hey, you just scratched the tip of my tail while you read it. Cease. Is that an option? No. Then cease. Anyway, um, yes. So we have the notes here, and okay, so immediately, we play another furry detective game. That's the first um, game in the series, so obviously I'm going to be comparing the two, and or at least, well, not obviously, but you know, I will be com comparing the two if I want to or not. 
just because I have played both. And thus far, I would like thus far I would say that this game is obviously lower budget than that, just because, you know. Yes, <laughs> which isn't to say it's worse. Just because something is lower budget doesn't mean it's worse. Let's talk with Muscana again, I guess. Can you tell me more about your play? Believe me, you wouldn't want to miss out on hearing how I got the call. No. So you had a message for me. Yes, that, that seems like the important one. Yes, on behalf, on behalf of your captain, Mr. Hishiro. He asked me to inform you to remain in your office and await his phone call. Got it. Thank you, Miss, Miss Muscan, for doing me this favor. Don't forget it on New Year's Eve. Alright, what are you doing with that phone? I was just about to call the fire brigade to see if there was a burst gas pipe somewhere, a radioactive leak from one of our nuclear stations in the area. You know, we just have those. Or you kept up shot in shopping town. In any case, indulge your taste buds with, with the savory aroma of goat meat that permeates the whole street. Hmm. Alright, the archives office. There's Agent Gaspard. Can I talk with you? Can you hear me, Agent Gaspard? Hey. It's been already an hour since that bear fainted. Oh. He won't answer you. Cool. Uh, Muscan? Okay, we can move past Muscan. And she is looking at me intently. Is the archives my, my office? Oh my god, what the hell is going on here? Don't call the fire department. I found where the smell, the smell of burnt sheep is coming from. Can I help you? Will the Prozac Kelmented Goat answer me? Finally. So I was saying, can I help you? Hello, do you speak my language? First of all, I'm not a goat. I'm the, I'm the goat, my chicken. Yeah, about me, I'm not a chicken, but a duck. That's one hell of a comeback. Sure is, mate. What did you want to know? Well, if I could help you? Yes, you can. I'm dreaming right now. Okay, so... I don't have time for this nonsense. Yes. That's enough. What do you want to know? For starters, what you're doing on my desk. With your pants off and your genitals under my lamp. I'm just giving myself a per perineum sunning session. Perineum what? Perineum sunning. I'm just sunbathing my anus. It's not a UV lamp. Do you truly believe this, Sherlock? Well, I just found out. And otherwise you are on your desk, as far as I'm concerned. No, I mean, who are you? I'm Inspector Fils de I've been sent by the office to assist you. I don't need help sorting through the police station archives. The higher ups think so. And to punish me, they've also demoted me to administrative duties. Excuse me, but for my part, I haven't been demoted. I asked to work in the archives. No kidding? But weren't you a detective before? Yes, let's just say the lack of investigations and murders in this town prompted me to review my priori priorities. Right, then I'm going to finish my nap anyway, because you've tired me a bit with your stories. Thank you so much, it's a nice thing to hear. The smoke is irritating my throat, but a bit too much. I need a good glass of water. Okay, so, 
Obviously, the game's translation. Bingo, we've got a glass, yes. Old right donut. It's a very old old right donut. I don't need this right now. This one could wake the dead. For someone who sleeps and snows like a tractor. Okay, so I'm gonna eat that to wake face the boo. I heard water. Or perhaps him pissing himself. I can't tell anymore. Anyway. Oh, there's water. Door? Yeah, thank you. We'd have to smash this can with a sharp object to get the water flowing. Or just find an empty glass and fill it with water from the fountain depths. I think it would be smart to actually use a glass. Yes. Which I have. Oh, alright. Point and click. Eddie. Alright. Bone. Let's see who wants to talk to us. Rickard's office. How can I help you? I'm RJ. It's Captain Hishiro. My respect, Captain Hishiro. You won't believe this, but I'm actually to a crime scene right now. I'm actually at a crime scene even. Really? A full-fledged slaughter. Mr. Kunan has been chopped up like some pieces of deli meat displayed on a banquet stand. What a disaster! I need to entrust you with the investigation of this crime! Oh, but I'd like to remind you that you've taken away my badge and my gun, Captain. Ah, oh, well, well. Finally, you didn't leave your job as a detective voluntarily, did you? Shut the hell up! You can smell the caramelized onion from three miles away. What did you say? Don't pay attention. Sorry, Captain. I was talking to a goat frying his ass on my desk. I rehabilitate you. Did Face the Boo make it to your office? Oh, yes, Captain. He's definitely here, standing out. Good. Very good. Since he's already there, I'll rehabilitate him too and assign him as your partner in this case. Take him with you, and get your badges and weapons from the police station reception desk. Gaspard is waiting for you, he knows all about it. Then meet me at Mr. Kwan's at 15 Dried Peep Street. Fifteen Dried Peep Street, okay. We'll be there very soon, Captain Hishiro. And my thanks for your confidence in me for this mission fulfillment. Mission's fulfillment, even. Don't make me regret it! Waiting for you now! Right, now we need to find a way to make face the boo so we can retrieve our equipment. Before going to 15 Dry Peep Street and join Captain Hi and join Captain Hishiro and start to start our, our investigation. Oh, that's dice. Did you just put it in? Yeah, nice, nice, cool, thanks. But yeah, so the, the uh, where do I begin? Yes, the the art is like a flash game, which whatever, <laughs> it it has its style. Like you know, this is nostalgic, and it's 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 cheap, <laughs> but it's nostalgic too. The voice acting is there. Um, sometimes like. I feel like I got a got a bad first impression of the voice acting from the the first two guys. First, well, how do it? Um, cause like the main guy, he's whatever. He has an, an, an excuse to be like this. He's sick. Whatever. The first guy was a bit grating on the ears, but he was there for like a scene, hopefully. And then the uh, person in the uh, in, at the front desk. It felt like they they recorded their lines at a separate thing, like they, they recorded that their lines at home or something. Which, you know, whatever, no budget, I assume. Cause Kickstarter. No, not you. Fucking hell. 
I don't know what's in there. And I don't think I want to know. Okay, well, an easy way to do this is this. I'm not going to waste this fresh still water on that silly goat's face. Fuck you too, then. Let's leave this delicious crimson out of the donut in front of this rascal's nose. Oh yeah, the translation. I think that should wake him up. I hope it's gluten free. But what kind of organic matter is this? This disgrace is out of date for at least 10 years! Now my stomach hurts. I've got to go to the bathroom. The toilets are downstairs. No, no, it's okay. I found the toilet in Liv's office. What the heck? There's no toilet in, toilet in this office. And yet... In the meantime, turn around and close your eyes so I can get dressed. Now I've got to drop the kids off at the pool. You've got kids. No, Donald. It's an idiomatic phrase to say I have to poop. By the way, can you show me where you found the toilet in his office before I came to you? I, co I come to you, actually. I don't want to to open the common kind of verbs that is that that's that sentence. Please, God. <laughs> okay, we need to find the city maps to travel to 15 Dried Peep Street. Anyway, I won't get out of here until I've got the squirrel banging on the windows. Which squirrel? Never mind. I mean, give you your first assignment, Mr. Face the Boo. You pronounce the K. French is a lie. It's fake. There are no rules to the pronunciation. Fuck. Anyway, obviously, toilet. So, yes, you. Alright, cool. Thanks. Let's see what we get on our investigation tracking panel. Fucking nothing! <laughs> Good one! What's in the fog cabinet? This is where the locker where the investigation files are kept. To put it simply, it's just scenery since everything is now digitized on a computer. Cool. Oh. Oh. Yes. Oh, that's roasted goat hair. You must be joking, I never touched that roasted goat's hair. Okay. Go to the computer. It's a computer, nothing more, nothing less. Cool. Put water on the computer. Fuck it, ruin this thing. Here, you drink. Alright, never mind. We have a clock. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> That's a good bit. The clock has never since lightning struck the town's bell tower and the, and the DeLorean... Okay, I see. version. There are simply no batteries left in it, and we don't have a ladder anyways to... Okay. I see. <laughs> oh, I cannot leave because it lit. So, we need to find the, 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 the case thing, but it's under the roasted goat hair, which he won't touch. 
And if I go to the panel, it does fucking nothing because... Yes, do you, do you need a drink? Okay. Oh, this is okay, no. It, it all says the same thing. Hmm. Well, let's see. We shall attend the crime scene located at 15 Drive Peep Street to join Captain Hishiro. The, the responsibility of finding the crime. The city, never mind. The city maps we lost in our office is entrusted to face the boo. Or, sorry, Facebook. That's his name now. Fuck it. it yeah, face the book. Uh, in the camnet. Credit where credit is due. This is a point and click game. Like, they, it, it is. It has the same problems as any other point and click game. What the fuck do I do? <laughs> Which is also the entire game. Okay. Oh, I can't control you. Never mind. This is fine. Off you go. I've got my heart, hair back. So, that, yeah, file cabinet. That's it. Don't take me for a two week old lamb. I'm sure everything in there is computerized now, but fucking hell. Nothing in the drawer. Do you know what a Kinder Surprise is? Yep. And then no one was surprised. Alright. Do you use the computer? It's on this very computer that I've been playing a great point and click game all night. Grandma Badass! <laughs> I love getting into the shoes of a granny looking for her cat. And I do mean getting into the shoes, huh? Not anywhere else. What's that mean? Like, I know there is there is a, a, a translation disconnect, like, even more so than usual, because I'm not a, not a native speaker either, but, like, fuck it, dude. What do you mean? <laughs> so, yes. Uh, I guess to continue my point. <laughs> the, the translation, as you can tell, leaves some things to be desired, not just in a way that, like, um... Uh, okay, cool. I guess I'll switch back to this guy. See if he can. No, he cannot. That is not a thing that I can interact with. I guess just look through all of the drawers. Are these all different drawers? I guess so. This one is not. This this one is fake. It doesn't exist. Is this the last one? Okay. Use the webs later. Right now we got to retrieve our badges and weapons. Follow me face the book. We're going to face the officer at the police station reception. Do I have a choice? No. But yeah, like the characters feel stilted and like they are talking past each other and all that. And I figure... Is that a police station's glass I saw in your pocket? <laughs> Or the light of seeing me again. Hmm. I want to use it as a toothbrush holder. A glass. You can't just say that. But I just remember that I don't, I don't have tweet. Heat. Yes. Words. Captain Hishiro has asked me personally to reimburse every, every missing glass. With two S's and an E. 
So it would be appreciated if you didn't leave it, leave it and return it to me. Here's the class, Gaspard. Thank you for your time. I'll put it back in your office. So yes. Uh, like the writing the quirks that you know were obvious even past the language barrier, notwithstanding, like you know, calling the mallard Donald or the appearance of Michael Mouse in the beginning, you know, disregarding those. There there also seems to be a disconnect just because the translation is very direct, from what I can tell. I mean, I don't understand French. I'll, I'll say that immediately. I don't know what the fuck they're saying, but... You know, just from the, the, the style of the way it's been translated, seems like it was very direct, directly translated, and then so a lot of the nuances of the, tra of the, the writing are lost because it's just like, all right, here's a French idiom. <laughs> Anyway, Gaspard. Not not formally, normally. He normally left it. Captain Hisho normally left left your badges and weapons. Oh, I'm sorry, but I'm not familiar with this. Don't you have anything for us? I think Captain Hisho forgot to leave me your badge again. But we have to deal this through him then. Best of luck, Inspector. All the best. All we have to do is look at our map. So you have 15 right Peep Street is to get there. All right, map. Click on the map icon. Cool. Hmm, I wonder where I have to go. <laughs> oh no, you're back. We're in front of the Cafe Shemong Shakoan. This is where the police have just found the body of its manager. Mr. Kwan, a shopkeeper who is popular with the locals. Though found cut up and made into sausages. Gentlemen, you overstayed your welcome and should you should let the police do their job. Says shirtless doc man. Yes, I'm talking to you, the TV crew there. I'm a freaking journalist. I've got every right to stay here and film whatever I want, brother. You're damn right, you stupid seal. The viewers are going to love watching me pull, pull out your front teeth and shove them up your... Whoa, calm down, gentlemen. I'm going off there. It was Daniel Ducal for BBC... F BBC! So you are still here, Ducal. What are you staring at? Let's leave this rabbit go alone. Yeah, right back at you. Eyes flow, or your eyes flow, whatever. Okay, to reiterate my points. <laughs> that BBC name drop. Okay. See. This is fine. I don't know how much this game is supposed to cost once it comes out and all that. This is something that they will have to fix because they will get in trouble. <laughs> I would assume. <laughs> anyway, yes, this guy. I don't even read this this person's name. Oh, Officer Chat GPT. Or rather, ChatGPT, but you know ChatGPT. So I'm assuming if I st speak with this guy, I will, I will just get fucking the the quote from 2001. <laughs> It is... Ah... <laughs> anyway... Captain Hishiro is waiting inside to put me in charge of the crime investigation. May I come in? My, my excuse is Inspector Margrave, but you'll need to show me your police ID card in order to get in. 
Oh, that's absurd. You do know me for crying out loud. Sure, but I can't let you in without your police ID card. He's a bit of a thwart himself, isn't he? I beg your pardon. Issue is that Captain Hishiro has my card. Well, ask him to give it to you. Yes, but he's inside. I see. So you'd have to go inside to get your damn card? Indeed. Well, Reinstein had, had it figured out. I beg your pardon. What's wrong with this good smelling like a kebab? Yes, but you can go in for taking your police ID card without your police ID card to enter. Or you can't go in. You got a damn good one from getting up a dinner game here. Did you eat garlic this morning, Mr. Goat? How can I figure the situation? You want me to take my card inside, but you won't let me in. No card, no passing. Where is the hidden camera? Spit it out. It was just protocol. Okay, I'll see you guys on the way to retrieve my card and gun. There you go, and then you've got your much awaited card and you can go through. And once again, congratulations on your intelligence and your chat GPT. All right. So yes, the the more this game goes on, it goes on, the more I die inside. Anyway, <laughs> trash. What's in the garbage cans? This pile of garbage looks very disgusting to me. Why do you why do you get mad? Yeah, trainee. Cool. Whatever. What then? The doorbell, doesn't, the doorbell doesn't seem to work. Fucking shut up. Double locked. I mean, this is neat. Being able to switch between the two characters is neat. I don't mind it. Garbage. Everyone knows goats love to graze on anything. That's probably why the dog let me down into the garbage. Old newspaper. Can you read it? Can you read? <laughs> okay. Uh, you are a ram. Perhaps. Throw something at it. The, the rotten apples, I guess. Also, I just want to note, since we've had, this is, we have Facebook, and we have ChatGPT, look, I'm bad at naming things, but I never look at what's the in thing right now that's on the internet and just go, okay, yes, my character is named that. Shut the fuck up, mate. I look forward to meeting, meeting the fucking other bird detective who's gonna be twitter <laughs> i'm not even angry <laughs> i'm just disappointed shut the fuck up please <laughs> okay i can apparently look at the graffiti ahem someone seems to hold a grudge against mr kuan Mysterious stranger actually take the epithet Quan Thief on the metal window. An interesting clue to note. That is a that is a note. That, that, yeah, cl clue. Yes. Finally, progress. The handlebar. Not that bitch. No fragile bar. Sure. The bar is on the verge of yielding, but I don't have enough strength to dislodge it. I need someone stronger, with more muscles. Like an impulsive goat, for example. Because God knows, you don't have the same build. God knows. Okay, so we have an iron bar. 
I can throw this into ventilation. Yes. It's ingenious, but I can't see what's the utility at the moment. Just fucking do it! <laughs> Looks like an air vent. Maybe if we manage to remove the grating, we could infiltrate it to here. Well, forget me and my fat ass. Anyway, I think I can get it off, but not with my bare hands. Or Good! Anything's possible with my big, hard iron bar. Okay, well, if one of you can get in... I don't fucking know. <laughs> get the fuck in! Button! Okay. Do <laughs> I should throw the journal in? Alright, the newspaper is, newspaper is in place. Now what? I don't fucking know, dude. Wait. I'll take that in. Out, yes. If I, Can I throw this in there? No. Okay. So I, I will put it in the, in the ventilation. Perhaps I need to set it up, please. I don't know. Can I throw that? Can I use the iron bar on the door? Perhaps. Probably not. I could break one of the windows with this iron bar, but remind me of one thing. Are we supposed to be at a crime scene? With lots of police officers searching the inside of this cafe right now. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> I guess we've done everything. Perhaps I'll move this guy back in there. Next to the bush, or something. Do that. In the meantime, no. Okay. There we go. I already have notes. <laughs> just, just be aware, I guess. We smoke the people inside. Then they come out and open the door for us. So much easier than just fucking calling someone. The smoke is escaping through the vent system. Okay, now we smash it to bits. Because you know this, the setting fire to to the crime scene is so much better than breaking a window. They can't leave. They've killed everyone. Yes. Or even we. <laughs> the door's finally open. Yes, I can finally see the film Captain Hishiro's silly face. Though he does look a bit of a mess. Let us see your face safe and sound, Captain Hishiro. You almost didn't get to know your, you in your lifetime. What the hell is this? You finally arrived! It's about time! Come in and follow me! Oh, there's still a lot of smoke in there. Isn't it a bit dangerous? This is a point and click game. The smoke will magically dissipate on its own once you're inside a cafe. I hope you got your guts pulled together, because what you're about to see hidden there will give you nightmares until next Christmas! So here you have the head of Mr. Kwan hanging from a hook like a CD ROM placed in your back and it is caraway pigeons. For my part, it's that suicide. Thanks, Sherlock. Here you've got another body part. I think it's the left leg or the right one. I can't remember. 
Well, it's a nice piece of ham, at least. Here's the remaining part of the body. Excuse me, Captain Hishiro, but... Don't you think some of Mr. Kwan's organs are missing? Yes! You're right to point that out, there are indeed bits missing. The inspector behind me has ate it all. I presume the other parts you can't find. Are on this display. Oh, those are sausages, aren't they? Yes, Mr. Inspector Murray, those are full-fledged sausages. I'll let you speak with the forensic and entrust this investigation to you. Oh, about that. You must have left your badges and weapons with the Gaspar from the reception. Oh yes, I did indeed take your weapons and insignia with me. I'm returning them right away. Wait a second. Those are water pistols you gave us. We've really hit rock bottom in this police station. I didn't think you'd notice! But I admit those are water pistols. Budget cuts. We sold your guns on Quack's open market. Well, let's start our investigation by searching this crime scene and analyzing the gathered clues. Let's get the shitty day started. It reached the demo's end. All right. So <laughs> let's let's talk, I guess, y'all. Okay. So yes, as I have said, uh, the language barrier is a thing. Uh, you know, it, it caused some of the problems problems with the writing. The other parts were just problems with the writing in general. I mean, we don't need this much pop culture references. In fact, you could say. You don't need pop culture references at all. But if you need to do that, like if, if you must, if something doesn't work, limit them. In this demo, we had what, seven, eight? I wasn't counting. It honestly was probably less. But still, it felt like a lot. Uh, the characters exist, <laughs> which seems to be running a running theme for this recording session I'm doing, which you will see cut into parts releasing in the next like month. But Yes, the characters, they, they exist, they they are, none of them are, like, neither of the protagonists seemed interesting, honestly. <laughs> uh, Margrave was, you know, a straight-laced guy, he existed, he's a, he's a square, he's, he's not a character, he's, he's, you know, he's supposed to be just an everyman. Which is fine, that, that's supposed to be contrast by, contrasted by Facebook. Let's talk about the naming. <laughs> Talking about pop culture references. But yes, Facebook... Like, he, he was supposed to be the, the, uh, the loose cannon sort of guy. He didn't come off as that. He came off as an insufferable asshole. Who is written mostly like Margaret, only he's allowed to be vulgar. That's the major, major difference. And otherwise, uh... Yeah, the, the switching between the two characters seemed neat. I, I liked how, um... How they, they interacted with different things and all that makes sense. You know, that, that that bit was well done. The art is whatever, as I've said, it's I'd say it's it's of, of Flash Games quality, which you know, Flash Games don't exist. They they the sort of have to go somewhere. But but also like, you know as much as I like I don't even know, because I wouldn't say that I'm po poking fun at it, because whatever, it's it's a deliberate art style. And it's one that is nostalgic to me. And, you know, if it's nostalgic to me, then it's nostalgic to other people as well, probably, because I wasn't the only person who grew up in the 2000s. But yeah. So the, the art is whatever. It's it's not 
anything special, I wouldn't say, but it's it's fine. They do good things with it, I'd say. It's it's not particularly uh, ugly or, or whatever. It's really the writing, which really stings, because, stings, not stinks, stings, because... You know, that's this is a point-and-click game. It's supposed to be about the writing. It's 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 um like one step after the uh what you call it the uh, the choose your own adventure games that were you know that that were only text based. And then uh, what else can I say? Oh yeah, the fourth wall breaks. You know, it's it's a thing in classic point and click games as well to, to do a couple of uh what gonna call it a couple of uh fourth wall breaks and it's fine but at the same time margaret didn't strike me as a character who would be uh aware of the fourth wall and it, it was just you know it, it's it felt a bit out of place for me but it might also just have to do with the volume, because, you know, if it was just, like, the, the clock, if it was just the clock of, like, all right, which, once again, pop culture reference, because at first it was Back to the Future, then, it, then he went, all right, there's no batteries for real, and then he, he broke the fourth wall. You could just have one of those. And, I mean, if, if you go with the Back to the Future, I'm going to complain that it's, it, it's, it's a pop culture reference, but if you go, all right, there's no batteries, I go, okay, whatever. If you break the fourth wall, and there's no other fourth wall breaks for the next, like, next, like I don't know, half an hour, then, at, at least. <laughs> then I, I'm like, okay. I guess I guess he does that, that sometimes. But there were a bit more uh, fourth wall breaks than I, w I would be comfortable with while trying to treat the game as somewhat serious. Like, obviously the game isn't treating... Or, well, that's the thing. That's the thing. Is the game treating itself seriously? I can't fucking tell. Because, you know... The, 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 look at what's on screen right now. It's, it's a murderous scene. It's not, you know, it's not doing a jokey thing like, um... Oh, uh, like Duck, Duck Detective did. Which, you know, it's... it's <laughs> Funny coincidence that two furry detective games, both of their, both of their protagonists, Ducks, But yeah, that's pretty much where the, the comparisons begin and end, because Duck Detective uh, it's did a lot more uh, modernization. It, um, you know, it it it, it had its own it it had its own things it brought in. I don't know what how to put it, but you know the. The investigation mechanic in that and all that, like you know, those things were fine. They were they were good. I like those. Uh, and then this game is is a throwback. Like Doctor Detective is Doctor Detective was trying to well, obviously I can't speak for the teams behind these games, but Doctor Detective playing it felt like it was trying to uh, progress the genre in a way. Like you know, it, it's not necessarily like make big changes in it or make great advancements but you know it, it wasn't it, it didn't feel like if i turned on secret of monkey island or something like that that i would get a similar experience meanwhile this game was a throwback if i put on putt putt then i will feel something same something same yes that's that's words addy <laughs> No, I will feel something similar. There we go. That's the the way to put it. As when I played this game. Difference being is that Putt Putt was made for 8 year olds at most. <laughs> you know, Putt Putt was, was aimed at kids. This game is obviously not aimed at, at kids because one of our protagonists introduced fucking bleaching his asshole or whatever he was doing with the lamp. And I guess that, that, that too is another um, thing to note, is that all of the characters, even Facebook, 
feel uh, overly formal, which could make sense. I mean, obviously, I'd, once again, language barrier. Um, what else? <laughs> Because that's honestly the major thing is a language barrier of like, you know, maybe this doesn't come off as too formal in French. I don't know. I don't speak French. And I didn't play the game in French. I, you know, aside from the, the voiceovers, but like, I don't understand what the hell they're saying 90% of the time. And. You know, it, it, it also felt um, weird how. Facebook would talk very formal, formally, and all that, and then he just dropped. Oh yeah, I'm bleaching my asshole, just like that. Why not? <laughs> Which, if this, if this is not supposed to be a, a serious game, if it's supposed to be a comedy, that's fine. <laughs> Maybe a bit too overdone, uh, just in the demo, but you know, otherwise, fine, whatever. But yeah, I guess that's pretty much all I have to say about this game. It's, it's you know, there there are there is something here. There's something that might be for someone that someone might not be me. But there is something here for someone and that someone should probably know French. <laughs> because the the translation does no favors for, for favors to this game. <laughs>